Interpolate cross section values. Hello everybody. Welcome to video tutorial on how to interpolate values within a cross section. In video tutorials related to interpolation, we have learned how to interpolate survey data in various methods like weighted average, tin, and 3D polyline. Those interpolations were related to interpolating the cross section values from scattered data. In this video, we will learn how to interpolate the cross section data within each cross section from available data. For example, if you have cross section data at 3 meters interval, you can interpolate values at 1.5 meter distance for the entire length of cross section. Select Edit or Interpolate sections from Modify menu. Select a layer for which you want to interpolate the data. Click on Interpolate button. It is possible to interpolate section values at a regular distance or at a specified distance. If you interpolate values at regular distance, then the interpolation will happen between left and rightmost point available in the specified layer of the section. If you interpolate values at a given distance, then we need to specify the distances at which levels have to be interpolated. In this case, if the distances specified are beyond the end distances of section layer, then, depending on additional setting, that is, extrapolate beyond available value to be set, at such distance, it will be interpolated or extrapolated. If you specify extrapolate beyond available distances, then there are two options for extrapolating. A. Extend values. It will just carry forward the value of the last point of the section to specify the distance. B. Extrapolate based on last segment will imagine that last segment is extended till specified distance and then it will determine the respective value. By switching off extrapolate beyond available distances option, there will not be any extrapolation and only levels will be interpolated at distances which are falling in between the available endpoints. Once the values are interpolated in this window, after closing this window, you can see interpolated values in modify section window. You have to click on save all button to make these changes permanent. Thank you very much for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn a special feature of eSurvey CAD called Morphing to derive new sections from available cross sections.